everyone! Welcome back to Shelby on Safari. Today we will be going down to the islands of the Caribbean to meet the mountain chicken. We will cover five things that you need to know about these amazing animals and also answer the question, do frogs need our help? But before we do, if you're new here and you want to learn all about animals in the wild, captivity, or in pop culture, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make that bell go ding so you can be the first to see all the new content headed your way. Now, let's get started. As you may have guessed, the mountain chicken isn't actually a chicken, although apparently they do taste like it, hence their name. Its official name, however, is the giant ditch frog but they are locally known as a mountain chicken because of their large size and the fact that they are eaten for food. In fact, the mountain chicken is one of the world's largest frogs. It can reach a head and body length of over 20 centimeters and weigh between 400 and 700 grams. These frogs can also live for up to 12 years. An enormous frog usually means an enormous diet, and the mountain chicken certainly has that. They eat a varied diet consisting of insects, crickets, millipedes, crustaceans, and even small vertebrates, such as other frogs, snakes, and small mammals. The mountain chicken frog is well camouflaged against its habitat on the forest floor. They will remain still for long periods of time before ambushing their prey. The giant ditch frog was once found on many of the Eastern Caribbean islands. However, now it's restricted to just two, Dominica and Montserrat. The most interesting fact about the mountain chicken frog, in my opinion, is that the eggs are laid in nest of foam in burrows. They develop entirely underground. Female frogs will lay infertile eggs for the developing tadpoles to eat. Once the tadpoles have metamorphized, they hop out of the burrows to fend for themselves. The mountain chicken frog is classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. This means that they face an extremely high risk of extinction in the wild due to a drastic population decline. Their population decline has resulted from various things such as hunting by people, volcanic activity, and the arrival of the chytrid fungus. So do frogs like the mountain chicken need our help? They most certainly do. And it's not just frogs either. Amphibians as well need our help. Why is this? It comes down to amphibian chytridiomycosis, or chytrid for short. Amphibian population numbers have many different reasons for decline. However, chytrid is a major cause of amphibian mortality and responsible for declines on at least two continents. This chytrid fungus was first identified in the mid-1990s. Since then, studies have shown that the mortality caused by chytrid can cause persistent and catastrophic amphibian population declines that could result in species extinction. This is particularly relevant to the mountain chicken, for since the onset of the epidemic of chytrid on Dominica in 2002 and Montserrat in 2009, the mountain chicken population has declined by over 90%. There are less than 100 wild individuals on Dominica and only two on the island of Montserrat. While chytrid infects all amphibians, it is not fatal to all species. On the islands of Montserrat and Dominica, two invasive frog species, cane toads, and John Stone's whistling frog do not seem to die from the chytrid infection, but they do act as a reservoir for the disease. Conservationists and scientists are coming together to work hard to stop this amphibian decline due to chytrid. In fact, places like the Zoological Society of London are working hard to develop methods for treating infection in both captive and wild populations. They're hoping to reduce the risk of infection being spread by the amphibian trade and reduce the risk of spillover from captive to wild populations by developing strategies 
with national and international entities. The chytrid fungus attacks the parts of a frog's skin that have keratin in them. And because frogs use their skin in respiration, this makes it difficult for the frog to breathe. The fungus can also damage the nervous system, thus affecting the frog's behavior. So how can you help stop the spread of chytrid fungus? If you intend on visiting frogs' natural habitats, whether that be in nature ponds that are in parks or gardens, be sure to only touch frogs when absolutely necessary. Make sure you clean and dry all equipment, that includes wet or muddy footwear, before and between visiting frog sites. And most importantly, never move a frog from one area to another. To learn more about chytrid and the mountain chicken frog, please check out the links in the description below. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which animal you want to see featured next. Thanks for watching. Bye!